Shalom. Today we're going to do another lesson in Do the Math. Today we're going to discover what happened to Abraham on his 75th birthday. It's so interesting that God keeps reusing the same time periods. There is a timetable defined by the Bible that starts with creation. These dates are referred to by the letters AM, which stands for Anna Mundi, which literally means the year of the world. If we start counting these years in Genesis 5-3, we see that Adam lived 130 years, and that's when he had his son, Seth. Seth lived 105 years before begetting his son, Enosh. So we have 130 plus 105. That equals 235. We're in the year 235 a.m. Anomundi. We see that Enosh lived 90 years, and so now we're in the year 325. Canaan lived 70 years before begetting his son Mahalalel. Now we are in the year 395 AM, the year of the world. Mahalalel lived 65 years before he begat Jared, and now we're in the year 460. Jared lived 162 years, and then he begat Enoch, so we are in 622. Enoch lived 65 years, and he begat Methuselah. That was in the year 687. Methuselah lived 187 years before he begat Lamech. That was in the year 874 AM, since the beginning of the world. Lamech lived 182 years, and he begat a son, who we will see is named Noah. That was in the year 1056. Noah was 500 years old, and he begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now we are in the year 1556. It says that Noah was 600 years when he entered the ark. So Shem was 100 years old when he entered the ark. And then after the flood, two years, he begat Arpachshad. And so that puts us at 1658. Arpachshad lived 35 years and begat Salah. We're in the year 1693. Salah lived 30 years and he had Eber. Eber is the person for whom Hebrews are named. Now we're in the year 1723. Eber lived 34 years before begetting his son Peleg. Now we're at 1757. Peleg lived 30 years and begot Reu, so that is the year 1787. Reu lived 32 years and begat Sarug. The year is now 1819 AM, since the beginning of the world. Sarug lived 30 years, and now we are in 1849. Sarug's son Nahor lived 29 years before he begat Terach, and so this is the year 1878. Terach lived 70 years, and he begat his three sons, Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And so it appears that Abraham was born in 1948, Anumundi, since the beginning of the world. This is a prophecy of the founding of the State of Israel in 1948, Anno Domini, the year of our Lord, or CE, of the Common Era. The next event in Abraham's life, where his age is indicated, is in Genesis 12.4. So Abram departed, as Yehovah had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. These are the promises that Abraham went forward with, from Genesis 12.1-3. Now Yehovah had said unto Abram, Get out of your country, and from your kindred, and from your father's house, unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless you, and curse him that curses you. And in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. If Abram was born in 1948, when he is 70 years old, the year is 2023 Anamundi. In 2023, Anodomini, or Common Era, Israel was also 75 years old. What happened in Israel in 2023? I'm sure you know. This is the time for the people of Israel to begin pursuit of their proper inheritance, for the promises of Jehovah to be fulfilled, for the people to own the land promised to Abraham, for the people of Israel to leave the spiritual heritage of their forefathers, the idolatry of Terah and Babylon, and come to their, their true spiritual inheritance, Yeshua their Messiah, and Messiah for the whole world. Do the math.